In this episode, I'll cover Dr. Deming's point number 11 of his 14 points of management. So there's two parts to point 11. There's an A and a B. 11A is eliminate numerical quotas for the workforce, and 11B is eliminate numerical quotas for management. So what are some of the takeaways I've learned about these over the years? Uh, the question becomes, uh, as it was with targets in point 10, you can go back and listen to that particular point, is that uh, quotas and targets beg the question, as Dr. Deming would ask, by what method? How are you going to achieve it? So let's just take a worker that has to take a contact center agent that takes 25 calls, has to take 25 calls per hour. You know, if you don't, you get looked at by management, you get frowned upon, might even get written up for it, you know, those types of things. Well, a number of things can happen. Uh, what one of the things that happens is typically the customer is going to suffer because the person, the worker is trying to get on and off calls as quickly as possible, and you may or not, may not get your problem solved. Um, another example is maybe a technician uh, for a cable company or an HVAC company has to make five repairs a day, you know. You know, and there's other th there are things that happen right with regards to making five repairs. You might go to a uh, house that has a system that you don't have a part for. So what do you do then? <laughs> Is that considered a repair or not? So there's a, there's a lot of things that are broken within the system that could be worked on in in most of the cases, whether it's a contact center agent or technician or some other. Uh, a service or uh, making the making of a particular product that a worker is going to run into. And this gets back to that 95% of the performance of the organization is attributable to the system that you work in and 5% the individual or special causes and events. So that uh, covers off the worker. Now I'm more focused obviously f with this channel on the executives. So in executive management, it's usually going to be associated, the targets are going to be associated with two things and or some derivative of those two things. And the first one is, you know, reduce, reduce costs by 10%. Increase sales, the second one, increase sales by 20% or something associated with those two particular measures. And, you know, these are the types of targets that are the result of a method that has helped you uh, achieve those sales or reduce those costs, fixing things within the system, creating value for customers, either by providing uh, good service or through innovation. So that's the first lesson that I learned. It's a big one because one of the things that I am focused on is providing you method in order to organically grow your organization um, as an executive, and that's going to help you become an effective executive, whether you're a veteran, new, or an aspiring executive. Lesson two, is your system capable? So in most cases, it's not capable, depending on the worker, depending on the type of call that they get, or the technician, the type of repair that they get, is it reasonable every time that they're going to be able to do five repairs in a day or tw take 25 calls? Well, you're going to get a variety of calls. And, you know, banking is one of the worst because you get all types of calls, uh, as I've learned through the years. But, um, you know, and even an HVAC company, there may not be that many types of calls, but there are uh, a number of things that prevent you from um, either taking 25 calls or making five repairs in a day. So the focus is how many are you actually doing and then work on the things that can allow you to do more. And those are things attributable to the system, making sure you have the right types of parts uh, that, that you need in the organization, the right training associated with different HVAC systems, if we're, we're using that as an example. 
But this requires looking also at statistical process control that I've talked about in previous points um, uh, of the 14 points. And, uh, you know, the only really meaningful data that you need to track comes from the customer. The financials and the costs and the repairs, the number of repairs and the calls a day is if the customer, you're creating value for the customers, everything else takes care of itself. Now, I know <laughs> because I've worked as executive in, an organiza in organizations and they don't believe it. Uh, and that's why you have to start by understanding your organizations as a system and developing your synthetic thinking skills so that you can be, begin to build confidence that creating value for customers, either through innovation or through extraordinary service or delivering what's important to the customer is the way to take care of your costs and your sales and everything else in the organization. And all of the other fog that is out there around taking a number of calls as a quota or number of repairs in a day are just um, going to drive you crazy. <laughs> um, but you can also determine how many you're going to be able to do in a day. And using an SPC, statistical process control chart, to me is one of the necessary elements that so many executives don't know how to use. And I think I use a number of somewhere between one in 50 and one in 100 executives actually use statistical process control. And they are constantly looking at time series data where it would be useful for you to understand what your how your system is performing. So that's what I would cover in point 11. Uh, if you got something out of this, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell and you'll be updated for other things that will help you become a more effective executive.